Welcome to the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Hexatlock Season 5. Uh, today we're picking up about where we left off last week, where we had just gotten our final, or not our final, whoo, that would be a quick challenge. We had just gotten our second gym badge here in the Unova, Unova region, and uh, finishing taking off Lenore, at which point we stepped directly into a steaming pile of plot, um, and uh, we were in the middle of that plot uh, beginning when I, when I ended last week. Uh, but because I was in the middle of a conversation when I stopped recording, I didn't really go much further than that because I wanted to kind of leave it to continue on next week, uh, or this week rather, I guess, and, and I, I closed it out uh, without actually, like, saving. So thankfully I'd saved right before the gym badge, but uh, we had to take a step back and I figured we'd start us right up at the beginning. Uh, but as that stands, here we go with previously on the Hicks Athlock. Exposition. Exposition and contradictory statements. Plot and plot. Plot, plot, plot. Plot, plot, contradictory actions. Plot, 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 plot. 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 Convenient plot devices. Plot, plot, plot. Plot, plot, plot. Plot, plot, plot. Plot, plot. Worthless friends. Plot, plot, plot. 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 Plot, plot, all right, there we go. So I included some new footage in the previously on because, good lord, that section took forever. Uh, I think it's like three minutes of footage at the beginning of an episode. And so I'm trying to do shorter episodes anyway. Uh, lots of pointless plot really did not factor into those equations. So, uh, long and short of it is uh, Sharon and Bianca are worthless, so they're staying behind to guard the museum. And uh, me and Berg are single-handedly single taking on the pinwheel forest by ourselves because Lenora couldn't be bothered. I don't know, she ran off somewhere else. So, uh, now our Pokemon are healed because we did just complete the gym battle. Gotta get them up and ready. And now we're going to head towards the Pinwheel Forest so we can get our first, uh, well, well, to start off before we go into the forest, we're going to, uh, deal with more of Berg's crap. They went into the forest, we're going to have to go look for them there. But, um, given that the, I'm counting interior and exterior of the Pinwheel Forest, uh, as, uh, the same thing, it's the Pinwheel Forest, uh, I know they got completely different catch routes and everything like that, but... Uh, I'm going to count it as the same thing, uh, and I want to do it on the external for my catch because there's fighting Pokemon, flying Pokemon, and stuff out here, whereas inside it's mostly grass Pokemon, and there we go. We got a throw, um, which is very, very exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. I figured that a fighting Pokemon would be more useful to me than another grass Pokemon. Uh, we've got Toadette. And, uh, and honestly, it, it, I, well, I said this last season too, uh, watch me as I quote myself later in the season when Toadette dies and I bring on another grass Pokemon, but, uh, I, I, I don't see myself when Toadette, if, if Toadette goes down, uh, I don't see myself bringing on another grass Pokemon necessarily, uh, and I think a fighting Pokemon is going to be a lot more useful to me at present, uh, than, than like, a you know, I don't even remember which one I get in this game. I think it's a uh, Cottony or whatever, uh, which I, I actually like Cottony. Um, I've got one on my my little cup team and everything like that. But um, I just I don't I, I see throw being much more useful, even though I've never used one before. Fighting types in general just give me more type coverage that I did not previously have. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Um, did that do a lot? I feel like it did a lot. Let's do this instead. Yeah, that worked perfectly. We'll get a little bit of leech seed off of it then, and then I'll have plenty of time to get a new ball thrown at it. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, healing ball, it's Pokeball. It's still only level 12, even though it looks uh, like it should be more of a nuisance than it is. So hopefully this will work out for us. Paralyzed, close to red. Yeah, beautiful. Throws it out of the Pokedex. The Judo Pokemon. Uh, when they encounter foes bigger than themselves, they try to throw them. They always travel in packs of five. Really, then why did I just find one by myself? All right, and we are gonna name this guy Ernie because, uh, and I, I'm sure I'm not unique in this, but ever since I saw Sock and Throw come out, they've always reminded me of Bert and Ernie. And uh, Ernie is the short round one, whereas uh, Bert is the more uh, long faced one. So there we go, Ernie. And we'll, uh, we'll add him to the team, probably, at least the rotating team, at some point. Uh, so let's make sure he didn't do too much damage. Oh, he did literally nothing. Okay, well, great. Uh, so let's, uh, actually, although if we're going into the forest, uh, Toadette's not going to be super useful. Let's, um, let's 
bring Zod up. Zod's got a fire type attack. We'll do that. Nope, don't need to look at him. Just need to get through here. All right, beautiful. Into the forest, and we'll get this plot going. Uh, here's Berg. He's going to give us the difficult portion. Two ways out of pain but with that's fine with me. Um, he's going to be lazy and take the easy portion that ends up not doing anything, and uh, and we'll uh, we'll uh, circle through, do some battling, uh, and uh, get this stupid dragon skull back for Lenora. Um, not sure why I'm doing it, but hey, that's the that's the uh, life of a hero, I suppose. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll jump in here. Uh, I want to thank you guys again. You guys have been awesome this season with uh, your responses to the questions of the day. Uh, the oh, perfect! I was just gonna—I was thinking between Zod and Dantes, so I'm glad that uh, Dantes is coming out. Okay, so they'll take care of that, Solano. I'd really love to get. Oh, it's a, it's a, uh, actually, I should. Uh, they're level 16. I actually need to get Dantes out of here uh, in case they don't bug bite or something. Um. Bring in Timon, I guess. Um, but yeah, you guys have been great this season with answering the questions of the day and stuff. It's really been nice to have that interaction uh, back up. Um, so I, I appreciate that very much. It was <laughs> it was so much fun uh, reading about your guys' uh, you know theoretical future gyms and everything like that. That was that was cool. So uh, thank you guys so much for doing that. I'll bring up the question of the day uh, for this week a little later in the episode, but. Uh, Oh, yeah, see, there's the bug bite. Ooh, glad I got Dantes out of there. That would've been bad. All right, um, and then Sawaddle will go down to that, but just in case, let's throw the cut at it. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys. Uh, it was really cool reading about everybody's different uh, gems and everything like that. Uh, really, really, really cool. So uh, to this week's question of the week will be coming up later. Uh, there's actually something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. Actually, a couple of things I got to talk to you guys about today. Um, First off, I want to start by saying a special thank you to uh, my longtime sub, Skadrill. Um, he has been with me as long as I can remember, honestly. It, uh, it, and I honestly don't remember when he showed up, but I feel like it was back during Hexathlox Season 1 even. So, um, special thanks to Skadrill because, um, one, he's been with me for so long, so thank you for that, buddy. But uh, recently he made a donation uh, or a pledge to support me uh, through Patreon, which if you guys haven't watched my recent channel update, um, I op recently opened up a Patreon uh, account uh, and put that page out there for, for you guys. Um, and the link's always in the description of my videos. At least, well, it's in the description of my videos from now on. But uh, yeah, so Sked went ahead and uh, and pledged some support to me. And uh, and this level of support that he pledged uh, it granted him a call out in uh, in a video of mine. Uh, and he picked the Hexathlock as his favorite series, so that's the one we're going with. Uh, but yeah, so uh, thank you so much to Sked for pledging. Um, it, every little bit counts, and I, I appreciate so much uh, your willingness to help support this channel and the things that I want to do with it in the future, uh, especially, you know, with um, your one of your favorite series being the Hexathlon. Uh, any support is going to, at this point, be going towards uh, trying to get a capture card uh, for my 3DS so we can actually do Season 6 of the Hexathlon next season, coming up in the fall. Uh, so we can do that uh, in Gen 6 as opposed to having run through Black and White 2. Um, so I appreciate the, the support, and uh, guys, every little bit counts. If you guys want to follow Skad's example and uh, and pledge some support to the channel, um, you know, even a dollar or whatever will be, you know, very helpful. Uh, and I, I hope you guys will potentially consider following his example. Uh, oh, wow, we, we can't uh, sneak past her at all, huh? All right, well, we're going to take her on. But yeah, again, thank you so much, Scad. I really, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate your continued support as a longtime sub of this channel. And you're always commenting and everything like that. That's that's the kind of support that money can't buy. Um, but again, the, the fact that you're willing to, even uh, with your, you know, little bit of disposable income, uh, support me uh, every, every month, I appreciate that very, very much. So um, I hope you guys uh, will uh, give your round of applause to Scad in the, uh, the comments. And uh, maybe maybe throw a like on this episode to support Scad and uh, and to support the channel, um, because again, commenting and likes are are almost as important to me as as anything that uh, that money could buy. So uh, again, thank you for that. Um, here we go, taking down the purloin. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, one Pokemon and done. Beautiful. Uh, so we'll sneak around here. Sorry, I'm empty-handed. Do I look like the kind of girl to carry a heavy load? Better try somewhere else. 
Yes, I suppose so. Uh, let's sneak around here. We've got... Ooh, wild encounter, which is not what I wanted to do, but Zod can take care of a PETA no problem. And uh, we'll continue on from there. We could have we could have gotten a P dove on uh, the previous route as well, where we just got uh, Ernie. Ooh, what was that? Quick attack, maybe. Um, but we did not. We did not. So uh, we've yet to find ourselves a really. You just survived that. I find that shocking. Finish that off, Zod. Um, but I think I'm really imp uh, really happy with the type of variety we have been getting thus far. Uh, I think we've got a little bit of everything at this point, so. Looking very, very good. There we go, found some super potions. Potion medicine case. Uh, is that the way? I feel like it's not. I feel like it's up over. Is this a dead? Do I have any repels? That's the better question. Let's check that real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. We do not. All right. But it does look like we do need to go this way, probably. So let's head this way. Got some uh, more nature-y kind of stuff popping up here. Um, another thing I want to talk to you guys about uh, while we're, we're doing this is um, recently, I, I meant to mention it in last week's episode, but um, recently Nintendo has come out with a program called the Nintendo Creator Program. And if, if you guys uh, pay attention much to like the YouTube scene, uh, you probably have heard about it, at least in passing at this point. Uh, from some of your other favorite YouTubers. Um, what it is, it's kind of like a network uh, for YouTube uh, that Nintendo is putting out. Um, and let's timber. Do I have what do, do I have anything that can combat that? Not especially. All right, we'll leave Zod in. Um, it's kind of a Nintendo network where because really. Nintendo content is not allowed on YouTube and they could theoretically make everybody take down all their stuff because uh, their company policies is not to allow uh, Pokemon LP or not Pokemon but just Nintendo content on you know on YouTube where they're not getting a piece of it they they are completely against it some game developers um, are, are more more okay with it uh, but Nintendo is not one of those companies that is okay with it. Uh, and so, um, let's see, I'm bring Toadad in, uh, spare Zod, any further damage? Um, so recently they came out with this program where you could partner with them, uh, to actually have a free pass, well, not, not, not a free pass, and that's part of the problem, but where you could actually be allowed to put out some content, um, on YouTube of Nintendo related stuff and they would take a cut of it and uh, and you would then be allowed to put out Nintendo content and they would do that on like a video by you could do it a video by video basis or you could do it you, you could partner your channel with them um, where like anything on there would be you know would be part of that part of the issue is that Nintendo one has a blacklist um, and so what that means is there's only certain games that they're allowing you to do that with. Um, and so even if I were to consider doing that, um, Pokemon is not on that list uh, for one. And for two, um, there's lots of other games that aren't either. I think like uh, Smash Bros. isn't on there, which I know is, is the, a real big one for Nintendo on YouTube right now. Lots of people who do gameplay stuff on, on YouTube are doing... Smash Bros. related stuff. Um, I don't really do that, so that doesn't affect me. But even if I wanted to, I look at the list, and most of the, all of their most popular stuff is not on the list. Uh, so even if I wanted to do that uh, and get legit with Nintendo, um, it's uh, it's not an option with Pokemon, which is large in a way what my channel is about. And so it, I, I can continue on as I have been, um, and uh, and just kind of keep doing that. But the, the, the issue is that at any point in time, Nintendo, if they become aware of the channel, um, can, can, you know, bring the hammer down and make it so that I couldn't continue putting out content, or they would flag every content, all the content I put out that uh, includes Nintendo-related material. Um, and so it's kind of... Uh, I'm going to continue doing Pokemon stuff, but there may come a day where Nintendo catches wind, and it, especially with this creator program, if this takes off and then 
they get a bunch of people under their umbrella and then they start coming after with more uh, more heavily the people who are you know not under their umbrella um, I think that might eventually come to pass um, so there's a lot of people on YouTube that are doing Pokemon stuff um, I honestly don't know that you know it'll it, I think it'll probably be a long time before Nintendo becomes aware of this little channel um, but um, there may be a day where that's a concern that we have to take into consideration. Um, so, uh, just kind of as a heads up, as something that's out there, Nintendo does have that Nintendo program out there. At this point, I don't intend to becoming part of it because if I did the channel thing, like, um, they make it so no content on your channel can be anything but Nintendo stuff if you, if you partner the channel, which I do lots of non-Nintendo stuff, and then, um, they also have it where, uh, like, things have to get approved, um, and so, um, it seems like things have been taking, like, up to, like, three days for a, a video to get approved, which by that point, most, most of my views are done, uh, you know, usually, I, usually by the end of a week things are done, but if, if, like, the first three days of a video it's not monetized or whatever, um, and, and again, I guess I don't really care that much about monetization because I don't really get much from it. Uh, but it's, it's just kind of, the, the program, there's lots of issues with it, it sounds like there's lots of people who are way more upset about it than I am. I'm not really upset about it, it just kind of leaves me where I've always been, because I, I looked into Nintendo's policies, and really they're not okay with LPs and other stuff of their content up there, uh, but there's so many people doing it that I'm just doing it. Um, but, uh, if at some point they do decide, okay, well we're really gonna start knocking, uh, are coming down hard on people who are doing it and they're outside of this program it, it, there may come a day where we can no longer do that kind of stuff on this channel uh, so I just wanted to put that out there so that you guys were uh, kind of more aware of it um, because I don't want you guys to one day be blindsided and be like well, Tortimer why, can't, why aren't you doing any Pokemon Showdown or any Pokemon LPs or anything like that because that's well I mean if you take out anything on my channel that is Pokemon related I think that leaves me with like one day a week where I'm not updating, or where I am updating. Uh, I think Minecraft Lord of the Rings is at this point the only series I have going that is not Minecraft, or not Pokemon related. Uh, and I had had some uh, some hopes in the future of playing some other games on this channel, especially if I got like the 3DS capture card or whatever. Um, you know, playing games like, you know, Animal Crossing I've got on my 3DS. Um, I'd love to play some, uh, my friend Aaron Cerise has been doing some um, old school game. She's been playing Spyro, and it really kind of inspired me. Like, man, I'd love to play some old N64 games or something with you guys because I love those. Um, and some of you kids may not have even been alive when that system was still out. So, I mean, that's something I'd really love to, you know, expose you guys to some of that. But I may not have the choice going much further forward. Um, so it it it'll just be kind of a wait and see sort of situation, um, is what I'm saying. Uh, so I'm going to keep an ear out, or ear to the ground, for any updates on this whole thing. Um, if you guys hear anything else, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. But as of yet, the program doesn't sound like it's something that I'm going to be able to make use of, even if I wanted to, because the, kind, the games that I'm playing are not on their list of approved games. And, uh, and yeah. So, uh, there's that. Um, I hope you guys uh, got all that, I, I, I guess. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so we are getting close to the end of this little plot section, I think. Hopefully, um, I, th I think this might be the voice guy? I'm honestly not sure. Um, but, uh, let's finish him off and find out. Pat Rat's gonna go for the bide. Hopefully, this will do just as well as we did in the last one in one shot. Yeah, beautiful. Dante's doing work. Uh, fantastic. Uh, about to send in Sand Isle. We will switch for the Sand Isle. We'll get, um... I haven't seen much Kensei. Let's get him out here and uh, have him do his work. Sand dial. I'd love to get a sand dial. That would be fantastic. Um, really, really enjoyed it when sand dial when I came through this game when I first got it. And then I also have a crocodile on my uh, on my gym team on Pixelmon. Man, that thing is a beast. There we go. We beat the grunt. Uh, if this keeps up, we won't be able to save the Pokemon. Team Plasma, fine, take your stupid skull. There we go, we finally got it. And now we can finish up this plot and this episode. Uh, getting a little longer than I generally like. Oh, we've got plot stuff happening. Sages, 
Plot, 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 exposition, plot. Plot, 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 plot. Plot, 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 convenient timing. Plot, plot, plot. Oh, gym leaders are worthless. Plot, 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 plot. Exposition, plot, plot, plot. Quick ending. Plot, 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 plot. Abandoning young children in dark forest. Plot, 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 plot. All right, guys, there we go. We have finished up the plot for today. I'm going to go ahead and save, and we're going to call it a day. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. For today's question of the week, I just realized I hadn't actually gotten to it. Um, it kind of relates to the Nintendo program thing uh, that I was just mentioning. If, at some point, I was able to play some old school Nintendo games, uh, we can go, you know, as far back to NES if you want. NES, SNES, uh, N64, those sorts of things. Um, if I could play any game on this channel from one of those systems, which one would you guys like me to see? I, I tried doing some Throwback Thursday stuff uh, a while back, and uh, and we didn't get a ton of views on it. I was playing uh, the old um, Sega Genesis Ninja Turtles game. Uh, but um, if you guys do have some stuff that you would be interested in seeing, uh, feel free to let me know, and uh, and I will... Uh, I'll enjoy looking at those comments. There's definitely some games like, I'd love to play, you know, I guess I should answer this. If I, if I were going to play some, I'm thinking like, there's some NES games I'd love to play, um, but I, you know, I think N64 games are more accessible to most people. Uh, so, I mean, I would love to play, um, and I guess this isn't even technically a Nintendo game anymore, but like Banjo-Kazooie or like Diddy Kong Racing or some Mario Kart or something like that. Uh, I, I just think those would be a lot of fun. I think those are series that anybody could really jump into and enjoy. And uh, they're just some really fun, action-packed, interesting games. So, um, yeah, I think those are my answers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if we ever did do some of those old-school kind of Nintendo system games. Uh, they may shut us down here soon, but uh, might as well get some fun in while we can, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Tortum the Great, and you guys have been great. Uh, make sure to leave those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys, and I will see you next time. Have a good one!